Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm be showing you guys how to make some simple sports edits in Photoshop. Um, all you're gonna need is Photoshop and Topaz Adjust. I have a link in the description to get Topaz uh, free and easy and install it and all that good stuff. So it's very simple. But um, yeah, so just go ahead and get your image. This is Dimey Brown from UNC. Um, then we're gonna start off with making our skin. So I'll go to the stylized collection. Vivacious has always been one of my go-tos. Finishing touches, transparency, put it at like 35. Now it's gonna be different for every image too. So it's just like play play with it until you like it type stuff. Um, that's why I use different transparencies. Click apply on stuff you like. I'll put some mild contrast pop on there. And click, okay, okay, cool. So now we have our skin. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer. I'm gonna name it blur. Um, for this image, I'm gonna do a zoom blur. I'll put it on like, I'll put 10 on 10. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, and I'll get a black and white layer on top of this. And now I will copy the skin and bring it over and name it mask. Um, now you're gonna just mask the picture. You could use different different uh, styles. I mean, there's a bunch of different methods where there's quick selection, pen tool. Um, for this, just for the sake of time, I use select subject. It's probably the quickest. So it's not the most accurate, but you can just get the quick selection tool and go in and clean it up a little bit um, in the areas that it's not so perfect. But I think it works out pretty good if you're on a time crunch. Um, let me get this finger. But outside of this, I mean, quick, quick, quick. All right, bet. okay. Now I'll just click the layer mask uh, button and boom. All right, so we got our mask now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop some effects behind the mask. So I'll go file, place embedded, and these are just textures from my graphics pack. Um, you can just Google like abstract textures or abstract effects on Google images and you'll find stuff. Um, for the sake of this, I'm gonna just pull some, some different ones. Uh, I like this one here. So I'll blow this up a little bit. I'll make this black by doing control, black and white, control, alt, shift, B. That's the keyboard shortcut for black and white. So I'll name this arrow. Drop it behind the black and white layer. I guess it doesn't matter because it's already black and white, but and I'll put it on. Yeah, overlay is cool. Lower the opacity a little bit. And then I'll do one more. Um, I'll do the classic. Or is it I saw it earlier? The classic lightning. Yeah, that's cool. All right, make that a little bit bigger. I'll drag this one over the black and white so it gives me some color. I'm gonna press Control U to adjust the hue slider so I can be a little bit brighter, more to match that UNC color blue. Okay, convert to smart object. All right. And then I'll put it on. Yeah, linear dodge is cool. I'm gonna make a layer mask, control I to flip it, and then use the brush to brush it back in there a little bit. And that's that. Lower the opacity a little bit. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm gonna actually darken his visor. So I prefer darkened visors over just regular clear ones like that. So I'll just get a curve layer, drag this down, control I, and brush over it. Sorry if I'm going quick. I'm just trying to be a little, a little faster for the sake of time. Feel free to leave any questions or anything like that in the comments. And uh, I got y'all. Or DM me or whatever. Uh, I got y'all. Y'all know I got y'all. All right. It don't got to be perfect. Just darken it. So that looks good to me. Now I'm going to go ahead and select both of these by clicking Control. Holding Control and then clicking both layers. Duplicate it. Merge layers. Filter. Blur. Radio blur. Seven, just slightly lower than what you did for the background. Looks good to me. I'll blur this. Just so you can keep the motion going throughout. Help it blend in a little bit more. And then once again, use the layer mask, control I to flip it, and then use the, the white brush to make it apparent again. And that's that, okay. Now I'm gonna actually duplicate this arrow group Drop it over the top here. Um, clear the layer style. 
so we have it back to normal and I want to use linear dodge go on a lower opacity and just drag it kind of I like to put it like over the bottom a little bit to help them like blend in to the effects a little more okay that's that and now I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna take a sample of his color by holding I to get the eyedropper tool click in his wherever his uniform um, and then just see if there's a blend mode that you like to get the uh, to get that color in there um, I think vivid light looks good so I'm gonna rock with this vivid light lower the opacity just a tad once again layer mask control I I use this <laughs> layer mask for everything so and then just brush it in there okay and I'll get a selective color uh, from the adjustment panel and this is where you're just gonna adjust your colors just a little bit more but we're basically done I'm gonna lessen the blue on his face a little bit okay um, yellows this is just how you bring out some colors make them darker lighter less visible stronger weaker stuff like that um, yeah so just play with this it's gonna be different for every image <laughs> I'm trying to emphasize that as much as I can um, sometimes you like you just got to find the right image whether it's for a skin or anything like that so you just got to look but um and the effects there's a ton of them out there just as i said like google abstract effects or something on google and you'll be there forever stock websites are good too i'll, I'll leave a link below to some stock stock uh, sites i i'd like to use um and yeah so that's pretty much that i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up okay and then last thing, I'm going to put a vibrance group over the top. I like to put saturation to 100 and then just based off the image, see where I like where vibrance fits. Turn the opacity and fill down. And then I like this light coming from the bottom. And boom, there we go. So I'm in this design. So this is what we started with and that's where we ended. Very quick tutorial, very simple and easy. Comment down below if you got any questions. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, yeah, if you need anything, you could feel free to hit me up on my social description. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Deuces.